Hi everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birth You Hoover. Here at Birth You Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things pregnancy, birth, and womb health related. So if you guys like the content and you like what you hear on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Today's topic is going to be addressing a question that was asked of me. Um, a few people have um, asked if I could do a video on how to get a birth certificate if you are planning to have your baby at home. Uh, the great and good thing about this is that it's not a hard process. It is pretty much a easy um, process. It takes a little bit more work than if you were having your baby at the hospital. But here's the first thing. If you are having, because these uh, women have not specified if they are going to have an unassisted home birth or a home birth with a licensed midwife. If you are planning to have a licensed midwife at your home birth, um, your licensed midwife will be able to um, register your baby uh, as a you know as proof of being born or a live birth. They will be able to get the paperwork for you. You will be filling it out. Uh, they do all of the footprints and everything. Um, at home they're able to do that or you would go into sometimes you have a midwife that also works at uh, maybe like a birth center or an office um, and they would just ask you to come um, fill out the paperwork and they would submit it to your state and they would you know go through with the process if you are in fact having a home birth that is unassisted without a midwife um then there's a couple of ways that you, you can do it. So the first way is that you could actually go to your uh, state's uh, vital records uh, building um, and speak with someone there and let them know that you are actually planning to do a home birth and that you would like to either have like get access to a home birth packet or you would like the forms that are required for a baby born at home. So if you word it, uh sometimes they might not know like if you don't word it correctly so i just throw out a couple of scenarios to let them know like hey you know i'm here i'm pregnant i'm planning on having a home birth um is there some kind of forms or is there a home birth packet that i can have so that i'm able to fill it out to prove uh that my baby was born um and this is for people who actually want the birth certificate if you don't do it that way you can also do it another way where you can just go through with the process um of you know having the baby at home but then what you will have to do is file your baby um you have to go down there um and get the paperwork or you can i think you can print it out online um it's a certificate of live birth i think i believe that's what the form is called um then you would need a uh, witness. You would have to notarize a statement from a witness saying that they were there at the time and place of birth. Um, and they certify and notarize that they were there as a witness. And then you would fill out the paperwork um, and you would submit this to uh, your vital records office. You have one year to do this. A lot of people don't know that you have up to one year to file your baby um, a live birth certificate form you don't have to do it right away um, I'm not telling anybody what to do I'm just letting you know that you have up to a year to do it before there'll be any you know loops that you got to jump through um, to prove that your baby was born you're also probably going to need um, some proof of pregnancy and some proof of um, the baby, the birth of the baby. So how you can get proof of pregnancy is obviously if you go uh, have some kind of prenatal care um, at a midwife, uh, I mean a midwifery or a hospital, um, or you can um, just go get a pregnancy test done at a clinic um, and use that as proof of income. I mean, sorry, 
I said proof of income, proof of pregnancy. If you also uh, have to have the proof of the birth or proof of that the baby is actually has been born, you can just take your baby to see a provider. Um, and that could be a chiropractor, that could be a holistic doctor, that could be, um, you know, a physician, primary care physician, um, any one of those, you know, professionals can act as a proof of the baby actually being born. So that's the a uh, couple of ways that you can do it. So you can either start your process before you have the baby or you can do it after you have the baby. But you will need a witness if you're planning on not having a midwife involved, if you're doing it unassisted, um, even if you're doing it with a doula, um, your doula can act as your witness. Um, your partner can act as your witness, uh, a family member, and somebody who was there at the time of the birth. But you will need to have that paperwork notarized um, with the filled out packet, the live uh, birth packet. Um, and then you just submit it. And it's it's not, like I said, it's not as easy as it would be if you, you know, had your baby at a hospital or if you had a licensed midwife. But you still can do it pretty easily. It's not something that you know you have to jump through fire hoops for so that's um pretty much my um take on it and this is the information that is uh accurate for my area so in the new jersey pennsylvania uh area this is the case but if you're somewhere else there is actually a website that you can go to um and I'm pretty sure you can go to your vital records website as well, but uh, I mean the Department of Health. But um, you can, I think the, the website is um, home birth slash uh, USA.org. Something along those lines. You can go there, Google it, uh, but they will have the list of requirements for each state. Um, and then you can just go about it. Uh, you know, doing the research and going to that website and seeing what is required of you if you, in fact, have an unassisted birth at home. But it's rather easy. It's not hard. You do have up to a year to do it. So you don't have to rush. I know if you have a um, a, a home birth, uh, you just had a baby. So you don't want to get up and go to, you know, building after trying to find all of these different things. Uh, but you have up to a year to do it. So that is pretty much how you file for a birth certificate for your child. If you are going to be living in the USA, um, your birth certificate is the thing that allows you to get a social security card. Um, it also acts as a way for you to go to school, a way for you to be enrolled in, um, uh, you know, all of the stuff, a job and get a license and all of that different stuff. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions and you have anything, um, that you would like me to dig deeper into, you can contact us at birthyhoover at gmail.com. Um, I also have a download of like a step-by-step, -step, um, guide to how you actually go about filing for the live birth certificate, um, for your child. So if you would like me to send you that, you can also reach out to me at birthyhoover at gmail.com. And that's pretty much it. I uh, appreciate you guys for always coming in, tuning in, giving me the topics to talk about, asking the questions and the comments. Um, I will see you guys for the next video. Peace and pregnancy dust.